What's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video and this time we are talking about the infamous Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera that is due out October 5th, I believe was the last time I checked. Uh, today we're going to be talking about three reasons why I myself will not be purchasing the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K at the moment. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Let me explain. So, a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about why I was not going to purchase the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. As you can see, a lot has changed. When I made that video, I had all the intention in the world of not purchasing this camera. In fact, I was looking at a bunch of other cameras and I was actually looking at not even purchasing a new camera and just sticking with the GH4, which is what I'm currently shooting on right now and what I've been shooting on for the past three and a half-ish years, maybe a little bit less. But after consulting with a couple of friends, after reading through your guys' comments, I decided to give it a chance go for it and see what happened. I mean, what was the worst that was gonna happen is I was gonna order the camera, I was gonna end up hating it, and I could just return it, and that would be that. So, a month-ish later of shooting with this camera, and I can say that I absolutely love shooting on this camera. Um, not only is it a world of difference from the GH4, um, but it's just a whole new experience in something that's kind of taken my shooting to the next level. Um, I've been forced to shoot different ways than what I was before. I'm gonna explain a little bit why later, um, but it's completely changed the way that I shoot, the way that I approach videos, and the way that I edit videos. So let's get into what I like and what I don't like about this camera after a month of use. And aside from that, you may notice something different about these videos and that is the audio. Hopefully, this audio sounds a little bit better or a lot better than what it did before. I heard you guys out. I read the comments. A lot of people were complaining about the audio, and so I went ahead and picked up the Sennheiser XSW, I believe is what it's called. I'm gonna be doing a full review video on this microphone uh, at a later point in time, but let's hop over to the desk, get a closer look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, and uh, then we'll check out some footage of it as well. Alrighty, so here we have the Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I have it rigged up just because I didn't wanna take everything off, um, but that is gonna be for a later video, so we're not really gonna discuss what is on the camera and what I've been using with the camera. We're purely gonna be discussing the camera itself, what I've liked about it, what I haven't liked about it, um, but that's why all of this stuff is here. So when you get the camera out of the box, it doesn't have this small rig cage, it doesn't have any of this, it is just the camera itself. Um, and as you can see, and as you've probably seen in a million videos on YouTube, the form factor is very, very strange. Uh, and that would probably be the first thing that I don't like about the camera is the form factor itself. Why? Um, purely because I use, I used to use the Ziyun Crane V2, um, and this just does not work on it. Aside from the fact that it is uh, too heavy, um, it's just a very odd, form and I know that people have gotten this to work with a lot of other uh, gimbals which I am going to be doing in the future but uh, even aside from that it's just a weird form it's a weird shaped camera um, it's a little bit unorthodox but at the same time with the rig that I use it on which is a shoulder mount and handheld you don't really notice it when you're holding the camera or when you are doing things it, it's not too big of a deal so that's the one thing that I would say right off the bat I don't love about the camera but it's not a make or break for me now in my previous video I talked a lot about how I was worried about the functionality of this camera compared to the GH4. In particularly, I was worried about um, storage for the file sizes. I was also worried about battery life. Um, and I was worried about the in-body stabilization or lack thereof, as well as the continuous autofocus. Just touching on each of those issues that I initially had, when it comes to storage, I ended up just doing the Samsung T5 SSDs. I have three of those right now, um, the 500 gigabytes, and I just kind of rotate through those depending on what shoots that I have and what shoots that I'm working on, and that's 
typically worked out very, very well for me so far. Um, I haven't really had an issue with running out of space. Um, I just kind of circulate through those. I keep my raw files for about a week after I'm done editing a video just in case a client needs any updates. And then after that, I dump the files. I keep the original video uploaded to Dropbox and then I just start over from square one with a clean drive. Um, battery life. Initially, I was going to just buy a bunch of the batteries for this camera, which I did. I bought a bunch of the Wasabi um, batteries for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Um, I figured out very quickly that that wasn't gonna work because the battery life on this camera is very, very limited. I found it's even smaller than what people were initially saying. Uh, it dies very, very quickly. So what I ended up doing is switching over to a V-mount a battery. So particularly I have this uh, Comer DNO lighting V-mount battery that I have rigged up to my shoulder rig. It has a battery indicator on the side, which is really sweet. Um, and I found that it lasts around five to six hours of continuous shooting, so camera on shooting the entire time. The last two things that I was worried about initially were the continuous autofocus and the in-body stabilization. Um, the lack of in-body stabilization has not been too much of an issue. Um, I've been shooting handheld on a shoulder rig and it's been fairly stable, especially with the shots that I've been taking. I haven't had too much of an issue. With autofocusing, I've just been adjusting focus on the fly with a focus wheel that's attached to my shoulder rig. So I have not had an issue with uh, keeping my subject in focus or anything like that. Um, I have been shooting dance videos on this and it's worked out amazing. I absolutely love the look. I'm gonna throw some samples up right now of shoots that I've done with this camera. Um, but let's switch over to it real quick just so you can guys can see the uh, quality change, the difference in, in dynamic range, um, and just kind of where the channel is gonna go from here. I apologize for not making any videos up until now. Um, I've been shooting on this and I really wanted to get a good uh, feel for the camera before I did a video reviewing it because there's a ton of review uh, videos of this camera online. Alrighty guys, so we are here. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and this is where my channel is going from now on. So I will be shooting exclusively on this camera for these types of videos. Again, I apologize for taking so long to make this video. I just really wanted to get a good feel for this camera, how I use the camera, and things that I don't like, like about the camera. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope the audio is better. I hope the visuals were better. And uh, I just hope that you stay tuned for the next video. Be sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment and like. And let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. And if you have any specific questions about the Black Magic, I would love to answer them in future videos. Have a good day. Peace out. We'll see you next time.